Fun. Yeah, get it and you will get the full mark. Yes, and there is candy, inshallah. Not today, maybe one day. So uh, the knowledge, you will be asking about your knowledge. Did you convey? Did you teach others? So now we are talking about something very important. And that's why we, we recited in this surah in, in Salat al-Maghrib with the, the second rakah with Surah al-Takafir, just to bring this part of ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, may Allah bless you, brother. Jazakallah khair. <laughs> may Allah increase your light. Ameen. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, and you will be asked on the day of judgment about the na'im, about the favors, about the graces of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the bounties that Allah bestowed upon you. So it is something very important in our deen to understand. Allah is going to ask you about the bounties. And this is the, the word na'im, it's very comprehensive word. You know, that deals with all types of the na'im that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted us. And the most important thing is the time. Allah gave us time. And we said that the concept that we maybe we got affected with, that I, I'm going to waste my time. I, I'm watching movies so I can kill the time. We don't have that concept. Is it right? We don't have that concept in Islam because even the time is very important. And as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was talking with his companions about the lifespan of his ummah. He said the average is between 60 and 70. And that's why, let me explain something. Maybe it, it, may, be, it, it may help you. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted, granted the ummah of Rasulullah Laylatul Qadr? Why Allah granted us Laylatul Qadr? Why we don't have, why we have the night of power? Yes. Yes. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. That's a very good answer. And mashallah, very smart answer. Yes, yes, that's, that's good. It's the benefit of 83 years of prayer and worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That, that is true. It is equivalent to 83 years. But what is the purpose? What's the wisdom? Dr. Yusuf, alhamdulillah, answered this question that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that our life is so short. The previous ummah, the previous nations, they used to live very long life. Like for instance, Sayyidina Nuh, how many, how many years he left? No, no, nine, 950 years, that was only the time of his message, the time of his da'wah. They said that he lived beyond the thousand years. They said 1,200 years. And Sayyidina Adam lived 900 years. So now you are talking about the average of the age, the average of life was too long at that time compared to our life. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that's the reason for revelation. They, they mentioned, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned a man from Bani Israel, from the children of Israel, not the, not, not the current one. I mean, the descendants of the offspring, the progeny of Sayyiduna Yaqub, the prophet Jacob, one of his names, Israel. That is why he mentioned that man and he said that man حمل السلاح في سبيل الله ألف شهر. He carried the weapons, means he exerted the effort to fight for the cause of Allah, for the sake of Allah, for, for one thousand month. So the Sahaba admired that, that deed, admired this action. And they said, Ya Rasulullah, so if we did whatever we whatever we did, we cannot reach 
to their hasanat, that means they will enter Jannah before us and they will get the highest level of Jannah and we will get nothing compared to them. Someone just his jihad, his fight for the, the sake of Allah, one thousand a month. So can you imagine 83 years he is doing jihad for fi sabilillah? Amazing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this surah that when you when you make qiyamul layl, when you pray at night, when you fast this day in the morning, and when you do righteously on this night, Allah will give you the, the, the reward of worship, which is equivalent to one thousand month or even better than one thousand month. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He didn't say it is equivalent to one thousand month. No, he said, خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ It is better than one southern month. It tells you about the importance of time in Islam. When, when, you, when you just think about this, we, we, we made the, this night lecture as a reflection on the khutbah. And when I got the reflection on, on the time itself, we can notice that all the pillars of Islam are connected to time. Am I right? All the pillars of Islam are connected to time. From the time that you do Shahada, Allah forgive all the past sins that you make. For when it comes to the Salah, Allah said, Inna salata kanat ala mu'minina kitaban mawquta. It's with certain time, with limited time. Salah, Allah gave time to each salah. Even as Dr. Yusuf, before Maghrib, you know, we have two minutes. So just imagine that it is the two minutes pass and make adhan. We cannot do this. Am I right? So we have certain time for adhan, certain time for salah, certain time to start your salah, and you have a period that's the, 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 the time that you can perform your salah with them. This is Islam. This, this is the importance of time. Otherwise, the, the other option, it could be, but it wasn't, alhamdulillah, it's, it's not in Islam. Just pray five times. Pray five times at any time you want, in any convenient time. But Allah said, no, there is specific times that you need to pray in. When it comes, for example, to Ramadan, specific month, we cannot start Ramadan now. We cannot start the, the obligatory fasting right now, but it, we have to stick with the time. And subhanAllah, even for iftar and siyam, you start your siyam according to time, certain time, and you break your fast, in a certain time too. So subhanAllah, just one minute before Adhan al-Fajr, it is halal to eat. Once the Adhan is starts, it's haram. For the Maghrib time, one minute before Maghrib, it is haram to eat. One minute after or during the Adhan, it's halal to eat. So again, it is time. So Islam is telling us about the time. When it comes to zakat, you have certain amount that you need to reach to give zakah out of this money, 22, sorry, 2.5% of the, 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 order, the total that you have, but there is another condition to give zakah that one year has to pass with this money with you. What, what, what we call it, hala alayha al that you have to have one year to pass to give your zakah. And when it comes to Hajj, Al Hajju Ashhurun Ma'lumat. Certain limited time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the Hajj in it. Even the Arafah, if someone missed the Arafah, that means he didn't make Hajj. You know, you can miss anything, maybe for any reason. Maybe you, you are not able to, win, to make tawaf. Maybe you mess uh, like uh, Rami Jamarat, but when it comes to Arafah, you have to go to Arafah even for a short time to, to, to fulfill 
the, the main pillar of Hajj, the main ritual, ritual of Hajj, which is Arafah. So it has certain day and certain time. And, and my evidence, try now, right now, try to imagine if we went right now to Arafah and we stood on the mountain of Arafah, could that be a count, counted as Hajj? No. Why? We, we went and we got Ihram. We went to Arafah, but we missed what? The proper time. That's, it tells you about the importance of time. SubhanAllah. So here is the case. When, 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 when you think about time, and as, as I mentioned, one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, Allah tells us about the stages of life. You know? Just to, let, me, let me remind you. Could you remember how was your, you know, your physical ability like 30 years ago? The power, muscles, you walk, you work, you don't feel tired, subhanAllah. And how your life started, Allah said, Allah created you out of weakness. You were so weak when he created you. A baby cannot do anything by himself. Imagine one day born baby, he can do nothing. And subhanAllah, after a short time, starts get his muscles and the power, the strength, the energy. And then after time, he comes back eventually to that weakness. Then when he reached like, reached 60, 70, 80, he sees the gray hair and the weakness came back. SubhanAllah, that, that's the case. That is how Allah created us. And, and the thing that I, I mentioned today, and please, I, I just wanted everyone, even those who are watching on Facebook or on Zoom, I need you please to think about what I'm talking. When, when it comes to the time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the guidance, Allah granted you the guidance that you have right now in a certain age. I'm talking because I see lots of people are criticizing the youth, the young ages. Someone, and, and I attended kind of like a clash between a man and his son. So the, the son, mashallah, is doing pretty well and he's performing salah, but because he delayed his salah a little bit, you know, so the man or the father got furious and he got mad at him and he started to say some bad words. Then I went to the dad and the father and he, mashallah, is 70 something. So I told him, your son is, 20 something, just I need to ask you one question. In his age, did you used to pray? He said, no. I said, when exactly that you started to become religious? Reciting Quran, go to Masajid. He said, till I reached to 40, I didn't used to go to Masajid. So I told him, and now you are acting like Imam and you need to be over like judgmental to your son and showing him that he will be in the hellfire. So what about you? When you was in his age, now mashallah, you are acting like a re religious person just because you came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you forgot how was you at his age. 20, 18, 25, 30. You was busy. Maybe you was playing games. 
go to bars, go to, you know, these places, and Allah forgive you. So do not forget. Do, do not act like, mashallah, now you are sheikh and you are, you know, a religious person want to criticize every single person. Remember the ni'mah of Allah that he guided you. And don't act like you need to criticize everyone. I don't know, those young generation, they don't pray the, and they, they are careless and they are not reciting Quran. I don't know, uh, they, they, they will be in Jahannam. They will not be in a proper way. They will not be in a good way. Wait, be nice. You was in a time that you was hoping someone to take you gently to the way of Allah. Am I right? So don't be harsh. Don't be that tough. When you call people to the way of Allah, just criticizing, no, 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 wait. Wait, they need, they need time. They need da'wah in a certain way. Don't forget the ni'mah of Allah upon you. Don't forget. And wallahi, when I, when I talked with the, with the young man, the, his son, and wallahi, he has iman better than lots of people. The son has iman better than lots of people. And I, as I told you, seven categories, Allah will put him under the shade of his throne on the day of judgment. One of them, a young man was raised up on the way of Allah, was raised up while he is, while he is obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may Allah forgive all of us. Allahumma ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. So it tells you about the, the importance of time. When we, if we are talking about the beginning of a new year, so what are you planning for? What's your plan for the new year when it comes to the worship of Allah? Everyone has business. Everyone wanted to start business. Everyone wanted to do something, wanted to start a company, wanted to start something. He put his plan. If you are having your plan to Jannah, so what's your plan in 2021? 20, 20, what's your plan? What are you going to do? Are you going to study Arabic? Are you going to memorize some surahs of Quran? Even if you will memorize 10 surahs, five surahs, sometimes when you repeat always, in the first rak'ah, then the second rak'ah, you reach to the point that you are not feeling what you are reciting because you, you used to, recite them frequently, but you need to, to do something new to memorize more surahs, to know how to perfect your tajweed, the way of recitation, to recite one of the books in, in, in the Islamic Sharia, to study th something, to know some, something. And also you can help others by establishing, contributing in the halaqa for Quran. If you cannot memorize in this age, you can help other to memorize and you will be rewarded exactly the same. So you can sponsor an orphan. You can sponsor halaqa for teaching Quran. But Imam, you know what? I don't have money. Wait, have the good intention and Allah will help you. Okay, wait, if you got the good intention and you didn't make it and you died, you will be rewarded exactly as if you made it. Allah is Kareem. Just have the good intention. Just have the good intention. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have, Alhamdulillah, you are doing do, lots, lots of good deeds, Alhamdulillah, I'm pretty sure that Alhamdulillah, you are trying to do your best, Alhamdulillah, to spread the good and, and to teach others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. But I'm talking about what, what is your plan for, for the new year? What is your plan for the coming month? What are you going to do to increase your iman and your level of, of iman and worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? One of the things, inshallah, that I wanted you also to concentrate on your 
your focus and concentration in salah. So maybe, maybe, just let give, let's give a number. So how much your percentage of khushu'ah, concentrating and focusing on your salah? Give me number. No, 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 I'm, talk, I'm not talking about what's supposed to be. Right now, what's your percentage? 100? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I cannot say this number. Yeah. <laughs> I wish if it is for, yeah? Yeah, in, my, in your intention, yes. I, in your intention, I want, I want to reach 200, but I'm talking about the actual number. 90, 80. 90, 80, that's, that's like, Perfect. I cannot even reach to that number, okay? <laughs> Yes, Abu, I, I, think, I think Abu Abdullah said zero. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I, alhamdulillah, you see, we have many things in, in common, Abu Abdullah, may Allah bless you, Allahumma ameen. He said zero. I can, you know, may, maybe below zero. I'm talking about the percentage. Put a plan to increase the percentage of your concentration in salah. Because this is the thing that wallahi we need look at the things that disturbs you makes you confused in your salah thinks about dunya thinks about your your children thinks about your wife is there anyone here in his salah thinks about his wife yeah. wallahi allah <laughs> 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 so you think about your money about car about children about food but when it comes when it comes to wife i'm talking about everything yes yes exactly honestly when it comes to yeah this is what shaitan makes you know shaitan starts coming to our salah and uh, we start thinking about everything. Yes, think about food, think about money, think about, and subhanAllah, one of the sheikhs in Egypt, may Allah bless him, said, if you missed something, if you lost something, and you wanted to find it very quickly, go to Salah, you know? So if you lost your keys, okay? Shaitan will take care of it. And he will come to you and he will tell you about where is the keys is, you know? It will tell you, you you lost it where because shaitan want to take your attention away from your salah and, and let's let's take it seriously now when it comes to salah we need to put the plan in at the beginning of this year how to increase the level of concentration and the level of focusing and khushua in the contemplation in our salah you need to renew the surahs so and study them then while you are reciting you need just to think about the meaning in salah. Like, You are going to be asked about all the favors that Allah granted you. Just this ayah, wallahi, can, can take you to another way, like to many of the ashes that Allah bestowed up, upon you. And, and, and we took it for granted. Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and Sayyidina Umar, just very quickly because I think we passed the time, the limited time. As Dr. Yusuf said, don't take too much time and I obey. He is my boss. So, <laughs> so, so now, yes, Allah, Allah barik for Umar. Jazakallah khayran. Barakallah feek. So, kam min salatina turfa' iza faqid, iza faqadna khushu' Exactly. Wa laysa al-abdi min salatihi illa ma'aqla minha. Imagine that you are praying and you give just like 20% khushu'ah, contemplation in salah, you will never get anything except just 20%. So you are taking reward in your salah depending on your khushu'ah, based on your khushu'ah, contemplation, concentration in your salah. I, I was talking about the na'im. Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and Sayyidina Umar were hungry one night. So Rasulullah met them 
And he said, Man, let the why both of you came out from your house at this time? It was at night. They, they felt shy to tell Rasulullah that they are hungry. So Rasulullah insists on knowing the answer. So they said, Ya Rasulullah, ma akhrajana illa jur. We came out of our houses because we are so hungry and we cannot find anything to eat. Just that's why we came out to find something to eat. So Sayyiduna Rasulullah said, Wa ma akhrajani illa ladi akhrajakuma. I'm me too. I came out because I'm hungry. That's Rasulullah. So another person from Al Ansar invited them to Inaq. Inaq, it's like small animal or something. Then he slaughtered the animal and he started to prepare like barbecue and food and, and he put the animal, small one, maybe like what we call it, like turkey, something like this, little sheep, little goat. And he put it in front of Rasulullah. So how many people we have now? The man, Rasulullah or Rasulullah first, of course, the man, Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar. And they are so hungry. So they will eat it, definitely. But look at the narration. The narrator said, ثُمَّ دَعَى أَصْحَابَ Then Rasulullah called his companions. All the companions, all the groups, he called them to eat. And not only this, he took the permission from the, the inviter, the man who invited them, and he took little piece of meat and he said can can i send this piece of meat to fatima my daughter she didn't eat since three days and he sent it to to fatima then while they are eating and sayyidina umar felt rejoice and happiness he is eating after a long time they didn't eat so sayyidina abu Bakr cried then Sayyidina Umar felt that there is something going on. Then he asked Rasulullah, why, why he is crying? Rasulullah said, because Allah said in the Quran, Thumma Because Allah said that you are going to be asked for all the favors that I gave you. Sayyidina Abu Bakr is crying because Allah will ask him about this meal and about that food. So he has to prepare an answer. It's not his food. Someone invited him. But yet, he's still crying because he wanted to prepare an answer. What about if Rasulullah came nowadays and he saw what we have and what we eat and, and at the end of the day, we are overthinking, overwhelmed. Do you know what, Imam? Allah is angry with me. Allah does not love me. Allah did not give me anything. Subhanallah. May Allah forgive all of us. Ameen, Ya Rabbi. May Allah forgive all our sins. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors in Jannah. Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Allahumma Ameen. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our deeds. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Uh, I think you said, uh, I didn't understand what you wrote, brother. Uh, uh, yes, arihna biha wa laysa khalisna minha. Arihna biha wa laysa minha, ya Bilal. That's, that's how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa called Bilal for salah. That oh, oh, salah, oh Bilal, let's seek ease through salah. Arihna biha, not arihna. Minha. Yes. Don't let us get rid of Salah. Okay. He didn't say that. Didn't, didn't, didn't say, okay, let us get rid of Salah and finish it very quickly, Imam. You know? Yes, let's go and eat. Oh, no, he said, let's get ease through Salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullahu khaira. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins. Allahumma akhir lana dhunubana. Wa yisarafana fi amrina. Wa shrah lana sudurana. ويسر لنا امورنا اللهم توفنا مسلمين والحقنا بالصالحين واحشرنا يا ربنا في زمرة خير المرسلين اللهم امين يا رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا بارك الله فيكم والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته